Welcome to another episode of the Chronic Comeback Podcast. Uh, today, I am recording an update of my, uh, yeah, I've been here in Bali for four months now. So recording an update. Um, what you don't know is that I actually recorded a great episode at the weekend. Uh, it was 40 minutes long, which is far longer than I was expecting it to be, which means it was blatantly really good and I sent it to Brian my podcast manager and I'd done the whole thing on mute so uh, uh yeah I'm still annoyed about it now uh, it's gonna it's gonna stay with me for some time so I've also written out like some notes as well um which I then deleted because I thought Oh, well, it doesn't matter now. I've recorded it. So I'm doing this one completely on the fly. It's not going to be as good. I'm just warning you. It's also not going to be as long because I actually, I can't, it can't be as long because I, I don't have the time uh, today for that. Uh, but I'm going to try and get the same kind of messages coming through. So I think the last update I did, I was, it was a positive update in the sense that I wasn't physically in a great spot, but mentally I knew what needed to be done and, uh, and it was on me. And um, I think I I had a lot of people that commented on YouTube, really nice people. uh, And I've actually, since I've like complained about people being negative on, on comments on my YouTube channel, just in terms of like, you know, looking for the negative in stories and people selling to them and whatnot. Actually, there really hasn't been any of that. And everyone's really nice, really positive. But I, I, I do it too. When I like, I see, you know, a, a fellow, you know, recoverer, that's not a word, but whatever. Um, I, I, you know, I, I try to, you know, give them advice based on what I think and, and whatnot. And, you know, I really do appreciate it. I think everyone was saying, you know, you seem stressed out trying to do all of these things. And yeah, there, I guess there, there can be an element of that, but I also need to feel like there's a plan. Um, if I don't feel like there's a plan, then I feel a little bit like I'm in no man's land and I'm a little bit lost. Um, oh, and for those of you who are watching on YouTube, sorry, completely changing. Um, uh, I remember I mentioned this in, in the episode of the weekend. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, there is a scooter in the background in this place I'm staying in. It's a decorative scooter. It wasn't me putting it in here. It's just in there. And uh, if you can also see, I've sw- I, I use it to hang my swimming shorts on. So uh, yeah, for those of you who are listening to this, I, I apologize. Uh, also, I'm blocking what is a pretty big mess behind me. Um, I need to be better prepared for these things. But anyway, uh, I digress. Um, so yeah, so that was kind of like where I was at. I think I was about to start. I don't know whether I told you guys. I think I did. I was about to start Primal Trust. I was kind of waiting for things to just all settle down and stuff. And so I've done that. I I did the first. There's like level. I think there's level. I think there's three levels, but level one and two are like the main ones to like really make some like you know differences in 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 you know your your health and and whatnot and um i've done level one so that's kind of more like it's called creating calm uh and that's more kind of like the brain retraining stuff however um and this is what i like about primal trust so for those of you don't know i've done i tried doing gupta i wasn't ready to do gupta at that point and so i can't yeah, I've tried doing Gupta. And then earlier this year, I tried doing Vital Side, which is Lindsay Mitchell, uh, who was actually on the show. Um, and I just want to say that both of these programs, if you're doing them, they can you can 100% recover using these things. Like there's no, they're, they're, they're both amazing. They're both, you know, if for the right person at the right time, and I think that's quite key, they're, they're, they're both great programs and the people running them are really good. So I want to say that I think for me, because I have such trouble with the, uh, and I, you know, I've created this identity and they talk about it, you know, I've created this part of me and she talked about parts in, um, 
you know, these parts of you that you believe uh, that that says that I can't, that I find brain retraining impossible. So because of that, if I'm then spending an hour a day trying to do something I just feel completely useless at, it can be a little bit demoralizing. With primal trust, there's a shitload of information. However, what it really, really has reinforced with me is just that there's so many ways to recover. Uh, brain retraining is a part of it and you do need to do that. But it's a, it's, it's a part of it. You, there's a lot of other stuff as well. Um, and there's stuff to do with your vagus nerve, there's stuff to do, uh, to cause it um, energy medicine. Um, what was the other stuff? Uh, medicine, uh, uh, um, somatic work. So a lot of stuff that actually is quite like some stuff that's quite simple, which I'm a simple guy. I need simple stuff. Um, when it's about connecting in with your deep down feelings, uh, wherever they are, um, you know, that's where I kind of, I get scuppered a little bit. And I, I just, um, yeah, I, I, this through this whole process, I, I realized and for those of you who watched an episode recently, actually realized that I am a perfectionist, which is mental. Because if you look at so many areas of my life, I'm not a perfectionist in the slightest. Like I, you know, give me a, you know, seven, eight out of 10 on a piece of work or whatever, and I'll hand that in. And like, you know, just, I'm not a perfectionist in so many ways. However, when it comes to stuff like this, if I feel like I'm not doing it hundred percent right, then I just give up. And uh, there's that nagging thing in the back of my mind saying, you're not doing it right. You're not doing it right. And so what I've been doing when I've been doing this primal trust stuff um, each day is that I know I'm probably not doing it hundred percent right, but I'm doing it. And even if I'm doing it 70% right, 65% right, it's better than not doing it at all. And also as time goes on, that percentage will, will go up as you feel into it and et cetera, et cetera. The other thing I like about it is that she really goes into a lot of detail into the intellectual understanding of what the hell's going on. And um, she talks a lot about like really understanding who you are and I think for a while, probably a lot of you will uh, associate with this. Like I felt a little bit lost in the last, wow, Jesus, mainly, you know, in the last like five, six years. Um, but I just don't, I don't want people to, uh, I mean, I was about to say, I want people to feel sorry for me. None of you will, because you will go through the same thing. But as in, well, if someone was listening to this and, you know, knows me or whatever and, and, and was like, oh, God, I didn't realise. That's, I, I still haven't been like, you know, oh, I've, it's more that there's, yeah, there's, it's been a very much a, um, ah, what's the word? I can't remember the word. It, it's just been a phase in my life where I've really been trying to figure out what the hell's going on and, you know, what I'm, meant to be doing where I'm meant to be living and uh I didn't realize you know a lot of that is is rooted in you know what I've been going through with my health stuff it's forced me to uh it, it's forced me to not do things that I was able to do before socialize in the way that I was able to before work in the way that I was able to before and so as a result suddenly I'm not allowed to live the life that I lived before and so Anyway, this is what this is doing is like, it's actually, it was just kind of like validation for me that that's, that's okay that I've, I've been feeling like that and that that's normal with, with what I've been going through. But as soon as I find out like who I am and I'm living more in alignment with that, with my values and who I am, then the health stuff will come and yeah, it was a really, it was a really, it's a really nice thing to to think to to intellectually understand, and also just that uh, the um, the mentality of trying to fix myself, which all of you will have, I'm sure. Otherwise, 
you'd be healthy and you wouldn't be watching this. Um, yeah, there's just like constant. Um, I was speaking to someone I know recently the other day, and he's he, he's a great guy. He's, he's going and he's getting all these tests and constantly, constantly, constantly. He's just trying to figure out more and more and more and more and then get more and more supplements and stuff. And now I'm, I'm kind of like seeing what he's trying to do and what I was always trying to do. And, and now I feel like I'm at the phase where I don't really want to do ever do any more tests. I don't really want to like start experimenting with new weird and wonderful symptoms. I really just want to carry on with this. Um, because I feel like that's definitely more of the fix it mentality. And so uh, the reason why I'm kind of like getting more confidence with this as well, and something that I mentioned was positive in the last uh, update, but I've been still going to the gym, still, still this chronic pain that I have is, is still there. It's still big part of every part of my life uh and yeah i guess there's some of you who are listening you're like um yeah it's, it's amazing you're able to go to the gym and, and look i am so grateful that i can go to the gym because i haven't been able to for three four years um but just to make you all aware i'm not going to the gym and just doing whatever i like and just kind of cracking on i have to have a guy that basically guides me through it because I'm kind of petrified to make myself worse. Um, I have been petrified. I'm petrified is a strong word. Have been scared to make myself worse. Um, and uh, but by being scared, and that's it, make myself worse. By being scared of like setting myself back, I'm I end up creating that. If that makes sense. And so what's been amazing about this guy that I've been working with in Bali, it's not been cheap, but completely worth the money. He's like basically just said, no, you can do it. You can do it. It's, a lot of this is in your head, like telling yourself you can't do it. Um, and a lot of it's in line with like John Sarno's work, which I do see like overlaps into the chronic health stuff. Um, and so... Yeah, I, I had like a few weeks, I think, where I recorded the last one, where I'd really set myself back. Uh, and I was I was really down on everything because I was like, I've done all this work and I'm back in square one. It's exactly the same thing. And one day I just said, I turned up at the gym and I was in a lot of pain. And I just said to him, I said, I know I'm going to be in pain, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm not pushing through. I'm not being stupid. But I'm just going to, I'm going to acknowledge that there's going to be pain there and I'm going to carry on and I'm going to let myself know that this is safe to do and this is safe. And that's what I've done. And although right this second, it's annoying because when I recorded this at the weekend, I was in such a great way. But now I, you know, I went to the gym today and my back's in all kinds of issues. However, I'm not letting myself go down a spiral at the moment. I'm I'm telling myself, okay, that's fine. It's, you know, progress isn't linear, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And when I look, I've got a video and, you know, once I'm in far better condition, I'm going to release a very motivational video of me trying to do some of these knee exercises uh, back in October when I was first trying to do this stuff. I could barely bend my leg. And now I'm doing so much more. And although the pain, is, a lot of the pain is still there and, and my pain just in general, just so, just so you guys understand who, you know, you might be watching this, you don't know much about me. Like this isn't just like a normal injury kind of pain. I have like chronic deep pain within my joints. Um, but yeah, the, the, but I feel like that, it, I feel like it has lessened and I feel like in general, when I compare how I was feeling in the past, I'm feeling better. And I find that I'm, 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 I'm allowing myself to say that because I was so scared in the past of saying, oh, I, I think I feel better. Because then I know that it comes crashing down a few days later and then I'll just be completely let down. But no, I think I, think I am. Um, no, I know, I know I am. I know I'm healing. It's just not like a, 
miraculous thing where suddenly I'm like, oh my God, I can go and do all these things. You know, everything's amazing. Uh, and I could well record this next month and, you know, things have gone back and blah, 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 blah. But right now I'm allowing myself to get my, you know, I don't want to say get my hopes up. I'm allowing myself to, to be in that space where I, I'm worthy of, of what's coming my way. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really nice. Um, I'm doing, so I'm doing at the moment, I'm doing the, this routine in the morning, this primal trust stuff that takes me about 45 minutes. I reckon at the moment, um, I'm trying to do this pattern interrupt like throughout the day. I'm not amazing with it, but it's all a process of just completing class two. And there's like, I think it's class there's eight or nine classes, maybe. So I think that although there's a lot of information and a lot of stuff, I'm also not allowing, I was so overwhelmed at the beginning, but now I'm just like, I'm just doing what I can and just moving forward. As long as I'm moving forwards, then I can be happy with myself. And yeah, that's, that's that really. And um, the other thing to mention is that I've continued with the breath work stuff. And, and actually this is why I need to leave in about, 10 minutes i'm about to go to uh they, so you do private one-on-one -on -one sessions and i've got one of those tomorrow and i've been doing those consistently every week uh and the group ones which i started out doing um they were always really good but they were never as deep and as powerful as the as the as the private ones but basically i and i had a bit of a break I started going back to these group ones, um, these, this, and it's called, for those of you who don't know, didn't watch the last one, please watch my last one. I talk about conscious connected breathing and it's all around like getting your nervous system all in alignment and, and more balanced and everything. And on the last few group sessions, I am going into depths that my nervous system hasn't experienced before in doing this practice. And I said to you have you have a time at the end of it where you you know you're giving uh, feedback. And I said I've realised that this is a practice. That is the word. It is a breathwork practice because I kind of convinced myself that oh my nervous system's like pretty screwed, so I'll only be able to you know I hear all these people having amazing experiences around me. It won't really happen to me. And then I got I've got really used to it and really into it with the one on one sessions. And then when I it was really amazing that I think I had about like a six week break where I didn't go to a group one. And the last few have just been so powerful. One of them I was like really emotional in um, about all the health stuff, pretty much crying, which just, just is not me. Um, and yeah, and I just think that's another sign that things are heading in the right direction. So yeah, other thing, my, my gut is, I'd say, close to being the best it's been in quite a long time. Um, I, um, when my girlfriend was here, uh, a month ago or so, we were kind of eating whatever we wanted and that I went a bit too far, but now what I'm trying to do is I'm eating uh, pretty much like fairly clean, like most of the time. No, actually, compared to a normal person, very clean. But I'm not being um, dogmatic about. It. I'm not. I think that's the right word, dogmatic. I was trying to be cool, but then I was realised if I don't reference the fact that I'm not 100 percent sure what it means, then someone might think I'm stupid because I'm. But I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Um, but I'm not being completely anal about it. Um, I'm allowing myself to have the odds bit of gluten. Don't really have dairy. Uh, and the other thing, which uh, I talked about on the, the mute episode. So I, uh, I, I, my relationship with alcohol, I'm from the UK. So everyone I know drinks, everyone I know drinks a lot. It's all part of the social scene. It's really difficult to not drink. And so, but for me, I find it, it's either I'm going to do it, I'm going to, I'm going to do it to an extreme or I'm just going to not do it at all. So last year I kind of had very long periods of time not drinking. And then I had a few periods where I just got really drunk uh, and uh, 
uh, because when I get really drunk, I actually don't feel my symptoms. It's one the one time when I feel quite normal. But I did that at Christmas time, and I've just felt so horrendous the next day. Like it's like hangover times. You know, just so regretful that I was like, right, in 2022, I'm not drinking at all. Um, and so I made that, I said that was going to be a goal of mine. And then recently, with all of this, like, stuff I'm doing, I was like, I'm actually going to, uh, plus it's like difficult to meet people when you're kind of literally just, I don't know, completely teetotal. I met this guy that I've met here and um, he, knew, he knew that I wasn't drinking and actually... He, if I was ever not going to drink, he's a person to not drink with. Um, he was totally fine. He wouldn't have had drinks either. And I was like, no, I'm going to have, a, I'm going to have a beer or two. And I had two bottles of beer and I'm, I'm going to make sure I'm just going to, that's, that's okay. It's not going to harm me. And although I actually ended up sleeping really badly that night, it was more because I was on my laptop until late, which I'm not meant to be doing. Um, but I had two beers and I didn't, wasn't the end of the world, felt fine the next day within, you know, the parameters of me feeling fine, which was really, really good. Obviously now what I don't want to do, I don't want to just have two beers every time I go out. That's not, that, I don't actually want that. Um, but I, what I would like to do is maybe you know, once a month, I can have like one or two beers in a social situation where it makes sense for me. Um, and then maybe one time in the future, you know, I can let loose at some point and, you know, it's not the end of the world. And again, it's that mentality of like not wanting to set myself back and realizing that that didn't set myself back. So that was quite a big thing. I know most people listening to this will be like, that shouldn't be a goal of yours to drink alcohol. But I think for me to be able to just have a, some part of like normality within moderation for, for me is an extreme person extreme personality that would just be really nice so yeah that was really that was really good um and what else what else i kind of think that's mainly it other than that i've been uh, my routine uh i've been pretty good again haven't been dogmatic about it uh i've tr- i've tried to be good with my morning routine getting up at uh 7 30 because I, I used to get up at 6, 6, 6.30. Since, since I've had the aura ring, I know that for me to have seven hours sleep, which is my at least my minimum goal, I have to be in bed for at least nine hours, which is mental. Shows like how like restless I am. Um, so I try to, I try to like have lights out and everything at like 10, 10.30. Doesn't always work out. Uh, because my business partner is here in the UK, I quite often have like, calls like quite late on and so it's not totally ideal but in general i'm keeping to it uh i'm having saunas uh like at least three or four a week i'm doing enemas at least two or three a week i'm doing cold plunge as well three times a week I'm trying to do you know walks on the beach and stuff like that so i really find i lost my flip-flops uh or thongs whatever people in Australia call them, if you're from Australia, uh, a few weeks ago. And I just thought, screw it, I'm just going to try and see how long I go for without needing to, like, wear shoes. And I haven't worn, apart from one time, I had to wear a pair of trainers. Other than that, I haven't worn my flip-flops once. Uh, so, it's, yeah, it's pretty, I mean, I've got pretty dirty feet. I don't know, quite clean. Um, but, yeah, I mean, God, I would have gone months and months without my feet touching the floor in, in, in the UK and just walking around just so Balinese these days. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they all Balinese people wear flip-flops, but anyway. Um, but yeah, look, also, it sounds like I'm saying, I've figured it all out. Everything's amazing. Before I came on this, I've had, I've had a tough day. I've had a really tough day. Uh, and I've my energy's been low. I really don't want to go and do this breath work thing now. I've not done my routine right, blah, 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 blah. So for those of you who maybe this might trigger because you're like, oh, I'm not doing it all right. It's also, you know, it's not perfect. However, it's going in the right direction. So, oh, and finally, for those of you who can't see, I got myself a tattoo. Looks the way I'm looks a bit weird from that angle, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it means it means calm. Um, for those of you who can't see, uh, I think it means calm. I hope it means calm. I'm 36, I've never had a tattoo, 
And I just thought, screw it, I'm gonna have another, I'm gonna have one. But then typical me, I've now think, feel like I want another one. So I'm starting to look at other ones. Um, it doesn't look that great at that angle. And it looks a bit like an A, but I hope it means calm. I'm 99% sure it means calm. Uh, I was doing, I was trying to find a symbol of calm for my um, uh, visualizations for uh, for the, the brain retraining practice. And I came across this and I was like, that is fucking cool. But anyway, I've got to go because I need to go. I'm going to be late for the breath work. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I'm going to hopefully do more updates when I can. And um, yeah, take care.